like stepmom or or I'm that mom. Care, I'm always you, home you, you care for the kids. I always brought home um stray kids. I could always take in somebody who was homeless. Because I mean, it's I not the kids' my fault. Home, my sleeve. I was never. Are that you person friends with her? Huh? Are you still to friends day, with her? Yeah. To this day, she's like a sister to me. To this day, okay. Okay. So what, 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 what made you bring her? What made you bring her? Just because they were her and the children was homeless, what made you bring her with the children? Because I got, I can see because they, somebody had to watch the kids while I went to work. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, it was it was it was feasible for me because I was the only one in the house working at that time. So I was paying mm. the bills for everybody, making sure everybody was fed. Making sure everybody had a good, warm, clean place to sleep. And when I walked through, honey, my dinner was already popping out the microwave. I was hearing Hunter up in that piece. I was having my business. And then every time he thought about coming out, he had to meet me at the door too, so I could see if I would let you even come in or not. Uh, it was like more or less like it was a game for me. I could care less because I was no longer. See, it only hurts if there's a fire still burning. When I'm done, I'm done. When there's a cut off yeah. switch, that switch is cut off. I hear that. I could have walked right past them getting it in and stepped over them and say, excuse me, what all the work. Okay. I could care less. It what? wasn't bothering me like that. They were still together when she brought him that? He, yeah, they, they were yeah. still Oh, my God. Yes. That's yes. what I'm saying. They were still together. <laughs> this yeah. long time I told you she was different. Yeah, yeah that's, that's different. different. To have your yeah, mistress, to have yeah. your husband mistress the living mistress in the house with you in, and yeah. his children. Yeah, and three of them. And I, and I never felt bad about it. I never felt no way about it. See, that's the kind of way, that's the kind of heart, heart guy gave me. God, it shit me. I never had that jealous heart where another woman is concerned. So did he, father, did he, did he, did he try to do y'all like a sister wife thing or something? No, no, because he knew I wasn't playing that. He, he won't like me around me. He would tell somebody right to this day. Uh, she's a good woman, but I'm sorry the way I did her. If I could get him on this line right now, he would say, I wish to God I never treated her like that. Because wow. she and, he was a, and, and he was a, a minister or something, or a preacher? To this, to this day, we still talk. Huh? Is, was he a preacher? No. Oh, he wasn't a man in no, the church? No, I met him when I was like, I had his first child when I was 16 years old. And I was grown then. I was mature then. My mother had me writing checks at 12. I had my wow. own when I was 17 years old. I've been grown for a long time, y'all. I ain't just been yeah, you've been you've been through a lot. Been for a long time, so I ain't let nobody okay. tell you give me no half a love or half a piece of nothing. Right, I can kill right. Me. And it didn't mentally disturb. I was not mentally disturbed by it either. Because yeah, it, it, just make, it just makes your expectations, you know, a, a little, a little you know, I a little more. Like, I tell you what, I felt like I felt like I was the mother to all the kids and them too. Yeah. That's how I feel with a lot of know. kids that I dealt with. I feel like I'm a, I'm a father to a lot of kids that didn't have a father. Yeah. I, yeah. Six of my own kids. Like I had to I raise like, my little sister. And then and, guess what? I felt like I never had, right now, I feel like it's my time to have what I want. I've always gave up. Oh, yeah. I Definitely. did everything for everybody else. Now it's like saying, I can't start at 62 now that I'm free. Well, I do have a young son that I'm raising. And I tell everybody, this is going to be the last child that I'm raising. He, I adopted him out of foster care. And I adopted him. I love my baby to death. But after he gets grown or whatever, I'm not taking in no more uh, babies to adopt. But it's my time to live now. It's my time. And mm -hmm. I'm not selling yeah. for no witnesses. And I'm not selling for no bull crap. I can, I, if I had taken myself to my dying day, I just got to do that. Because I'm going to love me. And I'm going to give myself the promise of everything. I'm going to take care of me. So I'm not no, letting nobody. You, yeah, you, you are in the You are I'm not nobody yeah. talking about it because I've been taking care of people all my life, all my life, all yeah. my life. I've been taking care of other people, strange people, stray people, whoever needed a home. I wouldn't even leave a homeless person outdoors if I could bring them in. I'd bring them in as long as they didn't have yeah. no drugs. Like I've let homeless people sleep.